The eyes of science and aviation are on the new cult of stratosphere ballooning. But just what is the stratosphere? Well, we'll tell you. The Earth is enveloped in a sea of air which we call atmosphere. The higher one goes, the colder it becomes. Viewing the Earth from this angle, we see the atmosphere divided into several well-defined layers. The innermost of these is called the troposphere. It's the air in which we live. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere, a much thinner mixture. The troposphere reaches to a height of six to ten miles. Mount Everest, the very top of our Earth world, rises five and a half miles above sea level, more than halfway to the stratosphere. Now, the troposphere is constantly in motion due to its proximity to the Earth's surface. But above, in the stratosphere, there are neither storms, winds, ice, rain or fog. Silence reigns eternally in the icy coldness of 70 degrees below zero. The sun and stars shine brightly in a purplish black sky. From the vast space between the stars far above the stratosphere come the cosmic rays, which are believed to be the key to the creation of matter. To study them, experimenters have fitted their laboratories into giant balloons. Endeavouring to get above the Earth's storms and disturbances, they rise into the void of perpetual calm and quiet in order to study what is over and beyond. The highest an aeroplane has ever flown is eight and a half miles. But in 1932, Professor Picard made the first scientific flight, achieving a height of 10.1 miles. In 1933, Settle and Ford near the United States Army rose to an altitude of 11 and a half miles, obtaining more valuable data. Soviet airmen then broke the record and attained a height of 11.8 miles. There is a limit to which free balloons can ascend, so perhaps the future of stratosphere exploration lies in the rocket type of ship, and there's no telling what wonders will be discovered. It has been proved that stratosphere flying is practical. Aeroplanes will be able to shake off the resistance of dense heavy airs as they rise higher into the stratosphere and reach 500 miles an hour. Commerce will then be able to speed from America to Europe overnight.